Hi everyone and welcome to Chronic Corner. It seems like everything right now is all about the coronavirus and there are so many uncertainties going on. So we wanted to make a video telling you the risks while having dysautonomia when it comes to COVID-19 so you can be better prepared. So I'm going to be referencing an article by Dr. Peter Rowe who works at the John Hopkins uh, School of Medicine. He works as a pediatric doctor with chronic fatigue. So he wrote an amazing article, I'll put the link below, and it really has stated that people with dysautonomia aren't the highest risk, but aren't the lowest. So it seems like right now, people with the highest risk, which I'm sure you've heard over and over again, 65 and over, and underlying health conditions, especially heart disease, respiratory illnesses like asthma, and diabetes. Now, this doesn't fall into the category of dysautonomia, so where does that put us? So we're at a higher risk than people who are perfectly healthy, but we're not at the highest risk of people in those categories. So it's completely up to you. I would recommend, and they keep recommending, to follow the social distancing standards, to try to keep yourself away from each other as much as possible for people who could potentially be carrying it, and to be, you know, washing your hands, wearing masks, wearing gloves, blah, 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 all the important stuff right now. So I hope that makes it a little clearer. We have some really great articles on dinet.org um, if you want to learn more about dysautonomia and the effects of COVID-19. There's a bunch of them right now, but again, it's hard. You know, a lot of people are focusing on the more well-known diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and asthma because those are the highest effects. So we really don't have a lot of data on the effects of dysautonomia. But as of now, it seems like we're not at the highest risk, but we're at a higher risk than someone who's perfectly healthy because it is an underlying condition. So please check out dinet.org to learn more. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and stay healthy, and we will get through this. Thank you.